Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he revealed the Quran whether he also revealed the names of the surahs that are inside of it one of these names that stands out whenever we think about our life and the society that we live in it is a surah that is known as Surah Maryam, the story of Maryam alayhi salam or the surah of Maryam alayhi salam. This is a surah that is dedicated to a woman that has reached perfection, a woman who loved Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and had to go through struggles in this life and attain the status that is eternal, a status that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses her with to be from those that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, from women, those that have reached perfection, and he names Maryam alayhi salam, to the point where today we name our daughters after her, to the point where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dedicates an entire surah to her. But this is not the only time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions her inside of the Quran. She's mentioned in other places inside of the Quran. My brothers and sisters, Maryam alayhi salam, we know her as the mother of Isa, but do you understand the struggles that she had to go through to earn this title? You have to go back to her mother to really understand how she attained this level that she was able to attain. Her mother makes a promise or an oath to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that whatever child that she is going to be given, she's going to make this child from those that dedicate their lives to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The time that she was living in, this is the time of Zakaria and Yahya and Isa, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose them to be the prophets that were sent to Bani Israel. Zakaria alayhi salam is the one that is going to be taking care of her and is actually because of her that he is blessed with Yahya when he realizes the situation that she finds herself in and he decides it is at this moment that I have to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells this part of it in Surah Ali Imran. My brothers and sisters Maryam alayhi salam, even before she was born her mother had the intention that my child is going to be from those that worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and she used to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make sure that this happened. After she was born, she realizes that she was blessed with a girl and not a boy. She says even though the oath was for a boy, as long as I am given a child by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are going to go and serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Maryam alayhi salam grows up inside of the mihrab of Zakaria, or she grows up inside of the monastery and she's going to be here worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At an early age, Zakaria alayhi salam realizes something about her. He realizes that Allah is giving her things which no other person is getting. Food that she is not given or food that other people are not getting, she's getting. So he says to, to her one day, he says, where did you get this from? Who is bringing this to you? Can you imagine being in a place, especially during those times where you know that at certain season, certain foods you are going to be eating, certain fruits come at different times. And then for Maryam, these fruits are coming all of the time. So he says, Ya Maryam, anna laki hadha. Oh Maryam, where did you get this from? Where is this coming from? And she's a young girl at this time. What does she say to him? She says that all of this is min indillah, that it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that provides for whoever he wills. Here I want us to take a break and understand something. Zakaria is a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has no doubt that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides. But look at this reminder that he gets. What's the first thing he does? He raises his hands to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after being reminded that everything is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while he has this knowledge already and he makes dua to Allah right then and there. This is Maryam alayhi salam. Even as a young child, she's reminding those around her about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving her miracles. But this time of ease, this times of happiness is not going to last forever for her. We know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to test her. How is she tested? With something that is so impossible to where you and I are not going to believe, to where majority of the people, if we said this happened to somebody else, we would not believe. And it is at this moment after her enjoying this peace, enjoying this security, enjoying this life that she is living where fruits are coming to her, foods are coming to her that should not be coming, that her test is going to come. And what a difficult test that she's put in. But she fully relies on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and she understands what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants her to do because she understood 
that whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings a situation through it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings ease. So what happens to her? She's blessed with a child and she's blessed with a child without any man having touched her. And she cannot stay in the town. She actually has to leave the town because of what the people are going to say. So she goes to a far place, far away place from the people. And she is going to be waiting here until she eventually gives birth. What does she do when she is waiting for this? She has to worry about where am I going to find food? How am I going to sustain myself? How is this child going to be sustained that is going to come? How am I going to be able to bear this difficulty that I am in? What happens to her? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends a messenger and as soon as she sees this messenger she says that inni nadartu lirrahmani sawma falan ukallim al yawma insiya that I have taken an oath with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I am not going to talk to any man I am in a state of fasting meaning holding back my speech I am not going to talk and she is told that when times become difficulty, that this messenger says, I am a messenger from Allah. And when you need to sustain yourself, all you have to do is shake this tree and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send the fruits down. She is blessed and she continues to sustain herself. But this is not a time where it is complete ease for her. It is a time for, of difficulty. It is a time for hardship. As we all know, someone going through pregnancy and then going through childbirth, it is extremely difficult. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of our mothers. It is something that that is extremely, extremely painful. And it is something that you and I are never going to be able to pay our mothers back for. Even one moment that they took a breath while they were giving birth to us or while they were carrying us, there's nothing that we can do in life to pay them back. Even with all of this difficulty, she is going through pain, but she understands that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to burden her more than she can bear. That with every difficulty, the difficulty of being pregnant, the difficulty of eventually having to give birth to a child, and then the difficulty of going back to her people and being faced